Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding how to add filters and group by options in Odoo search view. So in the previous video, we have successfully added the search view for the patient's model. And as a continuation of that video, we will be discussing about how to add the filters and group by for the same search view. So once we add search view or once we talk about search view, you know, we have the options of filters. So right now in the system, you can see we have different patients of different genders. There is male patients, female patients and just assume a case where we have to get the list of male patients from the system. So what people do that in that case, we will come here to the filters, add custom filter and we have to filter gender is male or female like that we have to do like we have to come here and select so we will be showing how we will be adding default filters here rather than going to custom filter and adding manually we will have this filters option by default here if you go to the sales and here you can see if you click on filters you can see you have default filters here like my quotations quotation sale orders created and if you go to the group by you can see group by salesperson or group by customer like that you have default options so similarly what we will be doing is that we'll be adding filters like male patients female patients and a group by gender options so we will be adding these things in this video so if i go to the pie charm and here we have the om hospital module where we are continuing our odo 15 tutorials and here you can see this is that search view so if i come to the corresponding search view so i'll click on the debugger button and if you click on edit control panel view so just remember search view is also known as control panel view in Odoo. so if you click on that you can see view hospital search so i'll just copy it and control f to find you can see it's the same record so we'll be adding a default filter from here so just we have inside the search view we just added a couple of fields where we have to make search of so after that what i'll do i'll add filter equal to filter name so this is the syntax of adding a filter filter mail i'll give the name as filter mail string string mail then you have to write domain so i'll just explain the things don't worry about it so inside domain i'll write like gender equal to mail so I'll just write a syntax. So what I have done here is that I'm, I have added a filter and I have given a name. So just give a name as you like either mail filter or filter mail. Just give a good name then string. So this string will get listed here. So I have written it in the capital. You can see camel case letter mail. Then you have to write domain. So domain is something like to filter the record based on some condition that is called domain. So inside domain, this is the syntax that you have to write inside square bracket as a tuple. So here I have entered the key that is I have to filter based on gender field in model gender equal to this keyword mail. So I have just added a filter called mail. And let's upgrade the module and see what happens. So I'll go to the UI and from the UI, I'll upgrade a hospital management module. So you can see the module has been successfully upgraded. And if I click on filter, you can see the option has been successfully added. You can see right now we have three patients. And if I click on mail, you can see it's get filtered. On clicking it, it will filter only mail. So similarly, what we can do, we can, I'll click on control D to duplicate this line and filter female. Just another filter, filter female, female, and the domain has to be changed. So I'll copy the key of the female here and I'll put it here. That is gender equal to female. Just restart, no need to restart. Once you change the XML, 
just come to the ui and upgrade the module once again so once we upgrade the module we will have a the second filter called female so if you can see you have got female and if you just you can see we can select both and upon clicking it the records will get filtered automatically so this is how we can add filters in the Odoo search view so right now once we select both it is performing the or operation you can see male or female and it comes all the records so what if you need to perform an ant operator so if you need to right now what i'm saying is that once you select male it get filtered all the male records that is two and if you click on female it is performing or operator either female or male and we are getting all the records so there might be some case where you have to perform and operations in such cases what you have to do is that put a separator inside it here you just add a separator so if you add a separator like this so what i have done is i have just added an extra thing called separator and if i upgrade the module you will see the difference so right now i'll keep this screen as it is and i'll duplicate and if i go to the apps menu i'll just upgrade the module so i'll keep this sample here you can see male or female right now if i select male only male and if you click on female you can see no records is getting filtered because there is no record having the gender as male and female so right now you can see there is no or here male or fee or female but here it is and operator and there is no record having gender as male and female thus it returns empty record so just keep in mind if you need to have and operation just put a separator in between so I'll remove that because adding a separator in between these two is doesn't make any sense the, there will not be any record having both conditions satisfied so it is useless to have a separator in between so i'll do one thing i will add one more filter filter kids and i'll give the string as kids and in the domain so i'll just add one domain based on age so i'll write domain age less than or equal to five so i'll just add age less than or equal to five as kids control x and i'll just put separator over here that is i just moved separator to here and i have added a new filter called kids and domain is applied as age less than or equal to 5 so just restart the service go to the ui and upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll just upgrade the om hospital module so there is one error so let's scroll down and see so it says inside the domain we cannot use this so let me check let's check xml so you have to put like this so less than or equal to you have to put like this this is the syntax of less than or equal to ampersand lt colon equal to that is less than or equal to then i'll just restart the service and i'll upgrade the module so there is no error and the module has been upgraded successfully now here if you come here i'll click on filter mail and if i click on kids it says there is one mail kit the age is zero so i'll change the age as five and i'll put name as apple save and you can see there are two mail and if i again filter kid and there is one mail kit named apple so you can see this and operator makes sense so what i have done is i have put a separator after male and female so the kids come after that so if you select male and female it performs or operation and if you select kit it performs or operation sorry and operator 
so i hope you understood right now you can see there is no kids in female but there is one kid in male so this is how you can add filters in odo now we will be seeing about how to add group by in odo so if you search or if i go to the odo source code so here we have the odo folder and if i go to the add-ons and i'll just search filter you'll see filter name you can see a lot of sample inside the odo source code itself so i'll just copy this a sample control c and i'll put it here so i'll just explain what i'm doing i have just taken a sample from odo source code for adding group by so let me remove group by what i'll group by gender name i'll put it as group by gender and inside so this is the syntax of adding group by option so we have successfully added filters now we are going to add a group by like this group by gender we need to get like this from the code so right now we have manually added by clicking add custom group but this will be lost on refreshing so we will be adding a group by here so the syntax is group expand zero string group by so here this is a syntax and inside this you have to enter filter string give a string which will be displayed over here then you have to give a name then inside the context this is a syntax group by which field you need so you can put which field you need we need gender so i'm saying group by gender so i'll just go to the ui and i will upgrade the module so i'll just upgrade the om hospital module to see the difference so the module has been upgraded successfully and if i click on group by you can see gender is coming so this is how we can add a group by option in odoo search view so we have successfully added filters as well as the group by options so that's it for this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to reach us over the email our email is odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter instagram etc so that's it for the day if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel and refer the channel with your odoo friends so that's it thank you have a nice day